Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Ale, a first year medical student, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how I got an A star in A level biology. <music> I'm going to split this video into three sections. The first one is going to be about websites. So the websites that I use for past paper questions, websites I use for notes and etc. The second section is going to be about my notes. So how I took my notes, what website I use for my notes, and then how I memorize for my notes. So just notes in general. And then the third website is going to be about tips. So general tips that I found very helpful for A-level biology. So stuff on how to approach exam questions, stuff on how to get marks basically, and stuff on how to defeat the mark scheme because we know in A-level biology, the mark scheme is very annoying. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. So the first section is websites. Now I use a few websites for past paper questions. So the first website I use is Maths Made Easy, which is not just for biology but other subjects as well. I found that this one was really useful for questions, especially on specific topics. This website specifically was also very useful because it grouped the topics together and then for each topic you had like a 30 page question paper with questions that do not repeat. So it was so useful for just exposing yourself to a large variety of questions. The second website is Study Mind. This one is a website with past papers but they're structured into much smaller topics so it's really nice if you want to pinpoint a topic that you want to do and then the third website which is just like study mind but it's called physics and maths tutor so that one is very similar it's very like sectioned so you have very small topics to do questions on so study mind and physics and maths tutor are really useful if you want to pinpoint the topic and maths made easy is really useful if you just want to do as much questions as you can on like a group of topics the fourth website is by revise so this one is a website for notes for a level biology notes and i found it useful when i wanted to understand the concept and when i struggled a bit so like i wanted to look more about how different people describe it. I wouldn't say that you can use it just plainly as your notes website because it is missing quite a few notes or I feel like it does miss sometimes sections but it is really helpful so definitely give it a look and get a vibe of how it is and then you can use it to kind of consolidate your notes. So these are the main websites that I use for my questions and note taking. I also use stuff like Quizlet you can find a lot of decks there for a level biology that people made or you can make your own deck and I use the textbook for my notes. Now, the second section. The second section is going to be about notes. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the website that I use for notes. So it is Notion. And I'm sure some of you guys have already heard about it, but Notion is basically a website where you can organize all your notes and not just notes, but anything else like to-do lists, um, your life, you want to track a certain event or you want to prepare like a recipe for something, whatever. You can have everything on Notion in pages. And the best thing that I like about it is that you can put pages within pages. So that just really organizes your notes. What I did with biology is I put all the topics and then how well I knew them at the side and then if I did the first review or the second review and then each topic in the table I can open it and then I have all the, my notes on it. It also has a toggle down function which is you put a title and then you can open the title and you toggle down and you have all your notes so that just helps so much in kind of organizing your notes and making them look good and readable. I'm going to link down my notion notes for A-level biology AQA in the description box so you guys can see the notes. You can either use them or just get a, bit, a vibe of how to make your notes like that on Notion. I'm also going to link down a tutorial that I found helpful for managing Notion because I do understand that once you when you first start using it it can be a bit overwhelming so that sort of helped me a lot in understanding how to use it. So the way that I took notes is that I mainly use the AQA textbook so I would have the textbook open and then I would write notes or kind of simplify the lesson from the textbook. The textbook does tend to waffle or not really waffle but there are a lot of stuff that are mentioned in the textbook that we don't really need to know in great detail or there's some extra information that we don't need to know so I just make sure that my notes are as condensed as possible. After writing down all my notes, I read my notes, make sure I kind of understand them. And if I find that a certain topic is going to be really hard to memorize or it's going to be really hard to wrap my head around, then I make Quizlet cards on it. So I make a Quizlet deck on this certain topic and I use this deck to memorize continuously. Now this is how I would usually memorize from my notes. I think Quizlet is really helpful. I will link down my decks as well, but I'm gonna have to say they're not really that helpful and there are a few like false information so use it at your own what is it called 
make sure that you're just aware and um, they're not also worded amazing it's just stuff that i made really quickly for me to just like memorize that's how i took my notes so for the essay for aka biology i tried to make as much mind maps as possible so closer to the exams i would look at a list of all the possible essay titles or all the essay titles that came before and then i would make a mind map of each essay title and try and make it as comprehensive as possible with as much points as i can fit in and then i look at the mark scheme and kind of add the stuff that i forgot so that's how i basically revise for essays i did an essay or two over year 13 but that's mainly how I revise for essays because it is technically just blurting the information and making sure it links well. The third section is going to be tips that I found so helpful for biology or just how to approach biology questions. First thing is blurting. So blurting is so helpful in biology especially since it's such a concept subject. Understanding the concept is going to make it so much easier for you to memorize. How I did blurting is I would look at my notes, read through the notes, kind of just try and understand what's happening, whether it's like a body system or whether it's like plants or an ecosystem, and then I would close my notes and then I'd just blurt everything in my own words. I try to make it as, not visual, but as like systematic, so with arrows pointing and stuff, and that makes me understand or visualize the concept much easier. And then after I finished blurting, I would then look back on my notes and add anything that I missed and just the fact that you add the things that you missed it just makes you remember them like so much better also this is linking to blurting but make sure make sure that you're working on understanding the concept and not memorizing especially in biology because everything links to the other so for example an increase in this substance in the body is going to cause this and then it's going to cause this so if you just memorize it you can get caught off by the questions but if you understand the concepts why does it increase or how it happens it will help so much more in answering questions my third tip would be understanding the key phrases or words that the mark scheme wants you to say so the only way to know this is by doing a lot of practice questions you'll find that when questions like for example evaluate the use of a certain drug on humans how it's going to affect for example diabetes and you the question will have test results from an the drug being used on an animal you'll find that literally every single time when a question like this comes up there's at least one mark for this drug has not been tested on humans it has only been tested on animals so stuff that sounds like common sense but it's always a, mar a mark's worth and you don't want to miss out on that mark or in any question that relates to movement of water there's always a mark of movement by osmosis it's really important to try and focus on these key phrases try and write them down if you notice that there's something silly that you're always forgetting and that will be so helpful in answering questions finally this is for me has been the most helpful tip when preparing for A-level exams closer to A-levels, making a list on the mistakes that you do. And sorry, this is not just for A-levels, but also for mocks and the exams that you have. So when you do practice papers for preparing for the exam and you find that you're doing a mistake that is either knowledge that you like or that is something that you didn't think that you should mention, I always write it down at the end after the paper and I get all the things I write them down and write them in a list. So I keep the list saved and it has all the things that I miss out. And then what I do close the exam is I turn these all into a flashcard and I keep going through it and it just ends up that I'm memorizing all these things that I usually forget. And when I'm in the exam, when I tell you during my A-levels, I would see a question, I'd be like, I know this because I did it wrong before and I put it in my flashcard. So it helps so much. And this is also useful in the point that I mentioned before about key phrases. If you feel like you're always forgetting to say a certain keyword, like, oh, it happens by osmosis, then write that down in a flashcard and go through it every morning you're going to school or whatever and then you end up memorizing it and remembering it every time so you'll read the question and be like oh yeah for this question i have to write osmosis so yeah i would say these are the main tips that i have i'm going to link down the websites that i have mentioned i'm also going to link down my notes for anyone who wants to have a look at them and lastly make sure just saying it again make sure that you're understanding the concept and doing practice questions i would say if you're going to take anything out of this video these are the two main things that you have to take out practice questions and understanding the concept in biology i hope you guys have an amazing year and i hope you ace your exams and i hope this video has been helpful if you have any questions just comment them down below and and if you have any tips to add mention them as well it'll be really helpful for anyone watching this video thank you very much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and see you later